Peace. Boom. Intro. What's up, guys? How's it going? Let me show you my gasser. Yep. Back on the... Try and get rid of that, man. Finally had to put my butt back in gear. Back on my high protein. Low everything else. Steamed broccoli and carrots diet. Gotta have that albacore though. Don't forget that albacore. Anyway, um, I got a package in. International. No name on it, but mine. I have no idea who this is from. It looks like it's got a picture of the queen on it. Some queen. I have no idea who it's from. Oh, it says on the bottom. Um, oh, I know who it's from. It's from our buddy McNasty. Didn't even know that was coming. Yeah, I don't recall McNasty saying he's sending anything to me. Maybe he sent me one of them super sweet customs he's been working on. Y'all been watching that dude? I told you, he's some kind of engineer or something. Ex-engineer or something. You gotta keep, a, keep an eye out for that guy. He's gonna build some crazy stuff. I already see him. I mean, he just got started and look at him. He's already gonna be blazing. But, and whatever makes him happy. I mean, I can tell he's gonna be doing some good stuff. Anyway. Check him out. Make nasty. Dang. I think he changed the... I think he added another word to the end of that. I don't remember. McNasty's videos or McNasty's garage or McNasty's diecast. Something. I'll have to check that out. Anyway, y'all check him out. Anyway, there you go. Check that out, guys. Oh, slander. Now, as you see, I put some pretty huge wheels on there. And they're down in there. I ground, you can't probably see in there, but the wheel wells, I had to grind them all the way down just to get them tires up in there. Now, she could have went a little lower had I used some smaller wheels, but I wanted these big bad boys on there. Probably for the same reason Derek wanted them on his. That was such a, that was so weird. He actually sent me a picture of that car before he done the video. And I was like, dude, I kept looking at it like, what the heck am I seeing here? And then I glanced at my table and there's mine sitting there. And I was like, that's what it is. It's those wheels. So I sent him a picture and said, hey dude, look at, I've been, I'm using the same wheels, man. But uh, like I said before, I think a lot of us bought those vehicles just to take the wheels off of them because they are super cool. But, uh, Oh yeah, I didn't, I didn't, my picture, I didn't have the license plate on there. I put a community post up, but I hadn't stuck the license plate on the back yet. But this one's already sold, and our buddy Kelly jumped on it as soon as he saw the raw prototype sitting there. And, uh, it's got the row cage inside of it. Of course, I threw the thrush sticker in there and the hooker sticker, the big orange gulf shifter. Detailed dash. Started putting the chrome bezels on them, especially on the 55s. Put some seat belts in this one. I don't know if we can see it in there. Uh, you might catch a glare. Of course, threw a nitrous bottle in there. But the bottom is just my base. So, realize that, Kelly. It's just my base. I dropped the exhaust up inside. I curved it and went up inside. And afterwards, which it looks cool. It looks nice. But afterwards, I was thinking, you know what? I have some room in there because I actually recessed the body up in there almost like an eighth inch or so. I don't think you can really see it. Or not an eighth inch or so, a sixteenth to an eighth. And, uh... So that gave me room that I could have actually laid my pipes all the way forward and curved them up in there. 
curved them up in there. And, uh, but it was after the fact, I started thinking, you know what, I could have done that. It might have looked a little better. It might have looked cool, you know, maybe put some mufflers on it. But anyway, that's just my base I made, which was a piece of cake, guys. And um, I actually could have cut it out of some thicker uh, styrene, but I just cut it out of some thin wall. And I was going to double it up, but once I hooked it to my interior and I hooked my rear plate, I made my own rear bumper. And then I hooked my front one. I was like, you know, I don't really need it. I don't really, I don't need it any thicker. So anyway, guys, I hope you like it. Most of all, I hope Kelly likes it because he's the one who jumped on it. And I threw an engine in there. It's not the gasser. Y'all can, y'all probably already know which one it is though. It's the same one I used on the 70 Chevelle for a whole lot of zep. Matter of fact, I I pulled some of my stock out so I could keep them just for the engine. I was going to use the one out of the cruise bruiser because it's got pipes going straight up and stick in there with the pipes coming straight up. And uh, but I didn't really like the complete detail of it, but I may use it in the future because I can change some things on it. But I also, I could have added some pipes to this going straight up, but... I went with the exhaust coming out the back because I thought it looked pretty cool. But anyway, I got some white wall tires on, or white letter tires on there. Slammed her down pretty good, I think. And you know, them bases that you can buy, those are cool too. But I mean, I watched JDC and I've watched a couple other people do it. And they've done good jobs. Um, new collector, Hawaiian dude. Peace, brother. Um... He done them. And, um, you know, there's a lot of chopping you got to do to those, too, which is cool. It's no big deal. But, I mean, so it's basically the same thing as me just going ahead and chopping my own out, you know. But uh, I think JDC said he's still going to send me one, so I may play with it and see if maybe I like it better. But um, if not, I'll just continue to cut my own bases. I mean, you could cut them exactly how you want. And it's real easy to do. Just lay it out and... I mean, well, I don't know what to say more than that. Lay it out. Cut it. Anyway, hope you guys like it. And I may do some more slammed ones of other versions and so on. But anyway, there's your, there's your gaster, Kelly. And the Superbird, guys. Looks like black one. You can see it way back there. Sitting. And, uh... But of course, I, like I told you, I want to put just a few of the racing decals on it. But yes, the Superbird logo that's always on the fender, it's going on there. And so is the little bird that goes on the wing. It's going on there too. But my second choice was the green with the flat black top and uh, the flat black wing. But um, Which is what our buddy Fern wants. And I'd like to accommodate him, but... Um, and I, and the other guy that said he wanted to buy it, uh, I think his name is Naruto, Naruto Wolf. Not really sure if he's serious or just messing around. And he didn't have, he didn't say anything about no color. So I went with what I, I asked you guys for help. You gave me black. I wanted black. I, you know, I went with black because the majority was black. If the more majority would have been green, like it started out to be, I would have went with the green, even though I like the black. But honestly, I'd have, I'd have took all of those colors um, well, the blue one was probably my least. I liked the orange and black and the green and black. But I think that green with black would have been awesome looking. But that would have been my second choice because I, I just, when I get done, Fern may even change his mind. Because I think this thing is going to look awesome in this glossy black, black with the decals on it. The engine painted up correctly with the spark plug wires, the stance, the whole thing sitting right. I think he's going to be surprised. It's going to look a lot better. And uh, he may still want it. If not, you know, somebody else may want it. Who knows? Um, but, uh, um, and obviously, it's, you know, it's some chop and work, too. It's as much as a gasser work. So it's probably a $55 car as well. I know some people probably say, oh, that's more than a $55 car. But really, it didn't take me a whole lot, as you saw, to get them wheels slammed up in there. And um, it won't take me a whole lot to do that engine. It's about as much as a gasser. You know, the wheelie bars and all. So it really, 
$55 is plenty fine. Some of these things require a lot more work and chopping, and yes, they'll cost more. But um, anyway, that's where we're at on that is, is the black. But it's just got the base coat on it. And um, there's actually, I've seen a few little spots I don't like in the paint. So, but it's not terrible. So I'm going to give it 48 hours and wet sand it smooth. And I'm putting another coat over the top of it just to gloss out that black. And uh, before I put any deal, decals on it and clear it and um, start assembling it. But then we'll go from there. And I don't have any more Superbirds, guys. Um, I do, I, I do, end, I think I will end up with a couple because I want to do some more. And I'm going to go ahead and say it because. I don't think it's going to be that hard to figure out. When I do get in there, our buddy Michael Johnson, he's the one that gave me the idea to do this by sending me the picture of that bad-looking Superbird. All raked out, flat black. And um, so when I do get more Superbirds, he's on the list for a custom. I want to do one for him. Kind of the same rake and all. But um, obviously, I'll probably obviously try to do the color he wants. And... Um, which may be a crazy color, who knows? But, and I'm only saying that because he's a Mopar guy. He's, he's bound to know that's what I'm gonna pick. And uh, so since he uh, will know that, I'll let him go ahead and pick out a color. But um, there's also, you know, some more people I want to make one for that really like Superbirds, and um, I want to send it to them, but I don't want them to know until it arrives. So we'll see what happens. And um, somebody asked me if I needed some. And, you know, I, I, of course, but I hate to say, yeah, send them to me. You know, guys, you guys send me so much stuff. But um, especially those gassers. Look at all that. Golly, man, 28 gassers. Uh, thanks again, buddy. And <clears throat> But the, um, the guy that asked me that also asked me about the Daytonas. And when I look them up, they look like a super bird, but I don't think they're quite the same. Um, I mean, obviously a Dodge is a Daytona and the Plymouth was a Superbird, but they look a lot alike. So I don't, I don't know that a guy that likes the Superbird would be just as impressed with the Daytona. However, I also can't put my Superbird decals on a Daytona. I don't think it would look correct. But, unfortunately, like I said, I've only ever had one Superbird. That one and the premium I got to the new set. That's it. Um, and though that mystery bag set one, I didn't know these Superbirds were going to be so rare to find at that time. Because at that time, I could have got four or five or six of those Superbirds in the mystery bag set. They were there. I took one. Honestly, I didn't like the color and I didn't like the blue wheels. I could have dealt with the color, but the blue wheels were pathetic. And I found those before I was customizing. And um, so I just got me one. But I had no idea they were going to be that rare to come across. Or I would have took all the ones i seen and kept them, kept them so I could customize them later. But obviously I didn't even know I was going to customize. So, you know, hindsight. Hindsight's always 2020. Anyway, enough rambling. That's where we are, guys. And yeah, cat's out of the bag, Michael Johnson. Your super bird is what I plan on making for you. And uh, so we'll see how this one comes out. And um, then you'll know if you might say, nah, you know, I think I'm going to pass on the super bird, dude. Give me something else. I don't really like that. Although, um, we'll see. But I'll try to finish that. But it may take a little while because I still have other things I got to do. But let's bust open McNasty here and see just what he sent me. And also, Northeast Ohio diecast I think that's the name Northeast Ohio diecast um, I've seen your video for the best premium of the year I got a video I did of mine and I just haven't posted it yet but I'll do it um, I think that the trick was to keep it short um, okay so I did but I could only get down to about 17 seconds because you know I'm not a short guy, as y'all see, I talk, I just keep on talking, but, um, 
Uh, you all probably be surprised at mine because it's not that impressive, but it was the best one to me since you hardly see them. I, I haven't seen them before. Anyway, let's get on to McNasty. All right on, brother. He sent, golly, dude, he sent me tons of cool stuff here. Looks like he's been buying some stuff. Let's go with this letter here first. Got to watch out for McNasty. Gotta, I got to read his deal first. All right. Hey, James, I hope this arrives in time for Christmas. I'm not even going to try to do his accent because it will just be insulting. Just a wee set I had tucked away in a box gathering dust. Open the wrapped one. Open the wrapped up one last. It's a special gift for me to say thanks for all the help you've gave me. I know you'll say I shouldn't have bothered but I have. Cheers, mate. McNasty. XOX. So it's only one, hu one hug, a kiss, and a hug. Eh, it's acceptable. You know, I don't want to be too much of uh, Joe Dirt's buddy there. Kicking wing. I don't want to sneak in that too much of that kicking wing lovey-dovey stuff. Hmm, and you're right. Shouldn't have bothered, buddy. I know it ain't cheap ship, ship, shipping stuff from way over there. But check it out. Right off the bat, I got some decals. Oh, shark teeth. Big ones, too. Those are going to take up some room on a car. Have to be cautious what you stick them on, but... Right on. Got the shark teeth. Looks like you got me some Rat Fink Gasser stickers from uh, our. It looks like he's got a hold of diecast decals. I seen that. I, I screenshot that out of a video I seen. Um, I never did try them though. Looks like they. Looks like they have white toner in them, so they should work on any color. Oh, this one's cool. Bomb the bowl, Rat Fink. I don't have that one. I've never had that one. Sitting on a toilet. That's <laughs> cool. Oh, and this one too. I haven't had this one either. That one's sweet. Right on. Yeah, I haven't ordered any from this guy. I did see um, a video where somebody spoke about it, so I considered um, looking it, looking into it and just never did. All right. Oh, sweet. The Batman set. I see. I remember he asked me about that. That's cool. And he's got them all protected. Look here. He's got these little things built around all the cards. <laughs> Cool, thanks, brother. Yeah, I tried to get back to you. I thought I did when you asked me about the, the uh, Batman thing. Yeah, I'm not really a big Batman dude. Um, I like the original Batmobile and the Michael Keaton Batmobile. I don't really care a whole lot about the others. But this is a cool set right here. This has got... I mean, it's the... I never did have this set. It looks like an older one. 2013, so 2014 set, or... Is it 2013? I think somebody told me that... No, that might be 2014. So yeah, I never would have had this set. But yeah, to me, the Michael Keaton Batmobile and the original Batmobile are the best Batmobiles. Well, and the rest of them are, you know, okay. Some of them. But uh, a lot of them are just straight goofy. But that's cool. Got a... Got the Batman Batmobile set here. And this is a... This is a cool set. It's, um, like I said, it looks like it might be the whole set <clears throat> that uh, I never did have. 
And yeah, I was going to tell you, buddy, that like I said, you don't have to send me that because, uh, like I said, I'm, I was just, I only liked a couple of them. Shoot, I don't think I've ever even seen that one. I've never even seen that Batmobile. Crazy. Do appreciate you though, Mickey Nasty. Now, <laughs> now that one's crazy. <laughs> what the heck is that, man? Look at that. Big old giant front wheel, little bitty back wheel. Did not look like that. Looks cool though. I mean, it is unique. Oh. <laughs> yeah, the Michael Keaton Batmobile did not look like that. But that is that is cool. That's kind of unique, like I said. And uh, the Dark Knight Rises. Yeah, I don't recall this one either. But I didn't watch all of the uh, Batmans. Kind of got too far out there for me, I guess. 2014 again. Yeah, I never even seen this set, buddy. Never even seen it. Now, I have seen the Arkham Knight Asylum. Got the Arkham Knight Asylum. And like I said, all the card art on these things are pretty cool. I mean, it's cool just to have the set for, for the fact that it's a Batman set. And then, of course, that one. Right on, brother. Thanks. And again, I didn't mean to make you think that I was a, you know, a Batman freak. I'm, I'm not into it like that. I just like those two Batmobiles. But that's cool. I, I admit, I do grab the other Batmobiles when I see them. I mean, I don't know why. I just do. Now, here's something he's got wrapped up. I wonder if it's going to be a McNasty Custom. It doesn't say do not open until Christmas, so I'm going to go ahead and open it. Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and open it. See if it's a sweet little McNasty Custom or just exactly what it is. Oh, sweet. No, not a McNasty Custom. Um, I better throw it there. I told you about how my wife will come in and get the bo plastic bottles out of the trash and put them over there in the recycling. And I'm like, just don't worry about it. Well, they've been having trouble picking up both of my cans lately. So I clearly caught him. Caught him. So did she. She saw it too. Weekend before last, because last weekend they didn't pick it up, but uh, she went through all that trouble to separate them again. Same truck pulled up and dumped both barrels in the same truck. I was like, told you, don't worry about it. I mean, I pay for recycling. We recycle as much as we can, but don't worry about it. They don't. It's a lie. It's a gimmick. That's another thing, guys. Look up recycling. You might just be surprised how much of that stuff never does get recycled. You know why? Because they can't recycle it. It's impossible. It's not practical. And then look up why they even started that recycling thing. It was the oil companies, some of the biggest polluters on the planet. But they wanted to convince America that, hey, we help save the planet. We don't pollute it. Not that, you know, oil's bad or nothing. I'm just saying that. A lot of that stuff isn't recyclable, guys. I mean, it's not practical. It costs way too much money to recycle. But anyway, check that out. That's what he sent me. Awesome Torino. 72. Grand Torino. Spectra Flame Green. Very nice looking casting. 
and I can't make myself open it. Now I almost wish it was busted open like the one Kelly sent me, because, man, when I took that baby out of there, it is so, ah, it's just like an opera. Ah, I better chill out. I'm going to break some glass around here, and my wife's going to want to recycle that. Yeah, I didn't even want to touch that car. I didn't want my fingerprints on that car. Got her over there in a display case. Oh, yeah, look at there, old school. Check it out, old school. That was an excellent idea you had. I had all my RLCs hanging up there, but like I said, over Thanksgiving, my oven was giving me crap. I was—I mean, I got one of them ovens you could separate and cook in the top, separate area in the bottom, drawer warmer, uh, heated plates. I mean, all, it does all kinds of things. And once I was maxing it out, I think some steam from some potatoes got in there and tripped the uh, circuit board because I noticed that it was steamed up and it tripped my breaker. So I reset it, went down there, it did it again. And every time I had to pull all my cars off of there to open up my breaker panel because I don't ever have to do that. And um, so I decided to move them cars off of there in case I have to do that again. But um, that's what it was. I, ended, I turned it so the steam would quit blowing towards the circuit panel or the circuit board on the back of the stove. And it didn't trip anymore. But, but like you said, that was a good idea because I had nowhere to hang those two signs. I was like, man, where am I going to put those? That was a, I'm glad you said that, because I was like, man, that's a good idea. I could fit both of them babies up there. So I did. Old school told me to do that. So that's what I did. That's what I done, done did. But check that baby out. Nice. Thanks, McNasty. I really appreciate that. I can't open it, though, guys. He sent me a case. He sent it in a case, too. So I'll have to keep that in the case. That is sweet. You know, back in the day, I never cared about some of these Torinos. I always liked the 74. It had that little had that little side window right there in the back in the coming down the the rear roof area and the looks of it was kind of mean. 351 Cleveland really would get it. I mean, for, for a car, it was kind of a fancy car, but you put some Craigers on it or something, drop her down just a little bit in the back. She was a smooth looking car. I had a buddy that drove it around. I always hung around with older guys, you know, we would surf all kinds of stuff, and they're the ones with the cars take you everywhere and do all the all the fun stuff. And um, but uh, he had it painted in a starburst metallic bronze. Man, that baby would gleam in the sun. It was just it's like a uh dark copper color with metal flake all in it and if she was shiny boy and uh but i i just went but as i got older and started seeing more of them it's just like man i didn't ever pay enough i never gave enough appreciation to them style cars back then but yeah right on buddy i appreciate that brother that's sweet flawless too i mean straight flawless and um Neo Classics. So I guess this would be, yeah, this is a 2016. So um, I guess this would be a redo of a red line. It wouldn't really be a red line, which is fine to me. I don't care either way. Um, I mean, all the red lines I had as a kid, I smashed with hammers, rocks, whatever. Buried in the dirt, never did get back. Just you know, you don't know when you're a kid. That's cool, brother. Appreciate that. Definitely gonna have to hang that up with my other premiums and stuff. So, anyway, there we go, guys. That's what I got. I know I rambled on again, and uh, like always, coming up on 30 minutes again. Um, just wanted to show you all that. Hope you like your custom, Kelly. Hope you guys liked it. And, uh, thanks again for the Batman set, McNasty. And like I said, sorry to make you think I was a Batman freak, because I'm not. I only like two of them. And, um, not that the other ones are bad, but this is a really cool set. Never did, never did see it, brother. Of course, I wasn't collecting back then. And I love that. Torino. 
So right on, guys. Y'all take it easy. And uh, Northeast Ohio Diecast, I think is the name. I'll have your other video up showing my preference um, a little bit later. So y'all take it easy. Peace. Outro.